Hello guys, welcome to Sumuka Infotech. In this video tutorial, we are going to discuss Code Java. This tutorial helps you explore the various concepts of Java programming. Let us get started. So, whom this course is meant for? You might be a student who is willing to learn Java from the scratch for your academic purpose or you are into your graduation and you might be having your university exam soon and you want to quickly recall the things for your exam point of view then also it is useful. You might be a person who is curious to learn a programming language like Java then also this tutorial finds useful. Any prior knowledge is required. Yes, if you know the basics of programming, like what is a variable, how to declare a variable, what is a statement, what are control statements, what is loop, if you have such knowledge, you would find easy. Even if you have no knowledge, no issues, we are trying to teach everything from the scratch. And the second point is, Having curiosity is utmost important. If you have no curiosity, you may find boring. Therefore, having curiosity is utmost important. Okay, let us look at applications of Java. It means where Java finds useful. The first application is mobile apps. We are all aware of mobile applications being used in our day to day life. The Android mobile applications or Android apps can be built using the knowledge of Java. This is one of the application of Java. The next thing is web applications. What are web applications? The various websites we have been using. For example, in the bank sector, we are using web applications. In various financial organizations, we are using web applications. Such web applications can also be built using Java. And the third application is embedded system. What are embedded systems? These are the systems with a dedicated function. They are not reprogrammable systems. In the image you can see uh, washing machines, micro ovens, mp3 players, set of boxes. These consumer electronic devices, they do a dedicated job. Hence they are called embedded systems. Even Java finds useful to program the embedded systems also. Just I have listed three. There are many more applications of Java. Okay, let us look at the software requirements. To practice Java programming, we need a Java development kit. It is a Java development environment which includes the important utilities like compiler, interpreter, such things are available in JDK. So having a JDK is must. And then we need an IDE. What is an IDE? It is an integrated development environment to write the programs, to compile the programs, to debug and execute. So uh, having JDK followed by an IDE is must. When it comes to IDE, various uh, tools are available in the market. You can go with JCreator or BlueJ or NetBeans or Eclipse, anyone you can use. I prefer jcreator for core java. Let us discuss the basic structure of a java program. What is basic structure? It shows various building blocks of a program. So this image shows various building blocks of our java program. Some of them are essential some of them are optional some of them are suggested suggested means you can it is again it is also an optional if you write it is better so the first section is documentation section the name itself says documentation means you can write few lines about your program or you can mention the copyright act or you can express the program logic that is known as documentation section in documentation section usually we write the comments either single line comments or multi line comments let me show 
So this statement shows a single line comment. When a statement begins with two slashes, it is called a single line comment. Similarly, we can write a multi-line comment. When statements are put between slash star and star slash, it becomes a multi-line comments. This is about the documentation section. The next comes package statement. What is package? In Java, the concept of library that is predefined classes, predefined functions, predefined objects, that is all predefined things are put in package. Therefore, a package is nothing but a library. This package statement says, if you want to create your own package, then you have to write a package statement. If you don't want to create a package statement, you can leave it. This is not a mandatory statement. So how to write a package statement? This line shows how a package is created. Package followed by package name. If you write this statement, a folder with the name mentioned gets created and your class will be member of that package. So this is about package statement. I repeat, this is not mandatory. If you want to create your own package, then you have to use package statement. The next comes import statement. What is import statement? Let me give an example. You need few classes for your project. All those classes are defined by someone else. The classes which are predefined are usually part of the package in Java. Now the question is how to access those classes present in a package. Then these import statement helps. So the conclusion is by writing import statement, we can fetch predefined classes present in a package. It is like ash include we used to write in C. How to write import statement? So this example shows import is a keyword, Java is a main package, dot LANG is a sub package, dot star. Star means all classes of that package. So by writing these statements, what we are going to achieve, we are fetching predefined classes present in a package. A package may have another package. That package is called a sub package. We will discuss further in detail what are packages, how to create packages, such things we will going to discuss in our future classes. So this is all about import statement. Interface. What is interface? So interface is also a kind of a class with some unique features. These interfaces are useful to implement multiple inheritance and also to implement event handling. For such purposes, interfaces are used. So this uh, statement shows how an interface can be created. Interface, interface name and interface members are there. So in future class, we will discuss how to create an interface, its role in Java. Okay. For now, just it is a kind of a class. This is also not a mandatory uh, block in the basic structure. Class definition. So what is class? Again, it is a user defined data type. What is the purpose of having class? You can represent something which is present in real time into a program domain. That is using class, we can model real world entities into programming entities. So class definition means in your Java program, there may be a need of more than one class. Having class is mandatory, but you might need more than one class. In such cases, a class must be defined. How to define a class? Class student. The example shows class is a keyword. Student is the class name and string name. It is a data member. Void display is a member method. Let me clear this section that is class definition. If your Java program needs two or more classes, then you need to define a class. We will discuss again in detail how to create a class, uh, what are data members, member methods. Just I am giving a brief view. The next comes main method definition. It is essential. Uh, having main method is must. When a main method is defined within a class, it, that class is called main method class. We know Java is a true object oriented. Hence, main method must be defined within a class. That is the rule. So having a main method within a class is must. So in this example, class is a keyword. Demo is a class name. 
and the main is part of demo class. So this is all about basic structure of Java program. Uh, let us learn how to convert a simple C program into Java. So what are the differences between a C program, a typical C program and a typical Java program? Let me begin with a comment. In C, we have single line comments like uh, I have mentioned in the slide. This is a C program. Same thing can be used in Java too. The single line statements are common in C as well as Java. There is no difference. Here, we write ash include stdio.h. These are called preprocessor statements. We use preprocessor statements to include library functions into our program. If you want to use library in C, we write ash include statement. But in Java, we have import statement. Here in C, we have header files. Here in Java, we have packages. That's the difference. There we write include. Here we have to write import. That's the difference. The next comes main method. We all know that having main function is must. Execution of a C program begins from main and void main it indicates main is a function which does not return any value. That's why we have used void. And in the body of the function we have used one printf statement. What is printf? It is used to display something on screen. That's, that's the uh, purpose of having printf. Uh, let me show in Java. Here, you can't write a main function directly. Reason? It is a true object oriented. Object oriented means all your functions or methods must be part of a class. That is the major difference. Please note this. You have to write your main method or function within a class. That's why first you have to define a class. How? class is a keyword followed by class name and curly braces represents the body of the class within this class you have to define your main here not only with void main we have few more attributes also what are those attributes public static void main why we used public why we used static i will explain since main method is part of a class it becomes a member function. So what is the object oriented philosophy says when something is part of class, it, it will be having some visibility mode. Visibility mode means in C++ we have come across public, provide, protected. So what is public? When a member of a class defined with public keyword, it is accessible outside the class. In this example, my main method has to be accessible outside the class. That's why we have used the keyword public. It shows visibility mode. Then comes static. So what is the role of static here? It defines how a member of a class can be accessed. How means with object or without object. In this example, main must be made accessible without objects. That's why we have used the keyword static. Let me repeat public. It makes main accessible outside the class static. It makes main accessible outside the class without object. Why? You know, it indicates the return type. It means nothing. Main is method name. And within the parenthesis of main, we have a parameter. What is the par what is that parameter? String ARGS. It is technically known as command line parameter, command line argument. So string is a predefined class in Java. ARGS is an array name. So in Java, method main takes array of arguments of type string. Why it is so? You will come to know that very soon. And here the output statement is system.out.print. Why it is so? Again, the answer is object oriented. Let me uh, clear it quickly. Print is a method or function. It displays something on screen. But this print is member of out object. Therefore, without its object, you can't call print method. Okay. 
print is method and it is member of out object but out is again it is a member of system class so if you want to call print method you need to take the help of system class also so system is predefined class with out as its static member data member and print is member method of out object just in this class you and try to understand these things uh, when i execute the program again i will explain and technically i will prove why we are going to write like this so this is a uh, an attempt to convert a simple c program to java program hope you did understand this uh, let me show how to execute a java program with the help of jcreator ide let us begin okay to begin this execution you need to install two softwares that is jdk followed by jcreator i have already installed jdk and then jcreator after successfully installing jcreator you get a shortcut like this launch the ide by selecting this so this is our jcreator ide so to create a new file you have to go file followed by new file so before creating new file make sure you have created a folder in my desktop i will create one folder you can place anywhere just i'm using my desktop let it let the name of the folder be my java programs why i am doing this when you create a new file it asks for the path that's why i have created so go to file select new file select java next yeah so here it asks two things name of the file and location location in my desktop i have created java programs user c drive users user i will select my desktop here it is desktop in desktop i have my java programs okay this will be my location fine name while giving the file name you need to remember one rule in java the class in which main method has been defined its name that class name main method class name and file name should be same that is the rule so i will give the file name as first dot java and you know the rule the file should have the extension dot java so right now the default font is very small let me change it how to do that go to configure select options here it is a java in the drop down select font okay here you can change the size let it be 20 i will choose lucida font that is my favorite you can choose anything you want lucida bright lucida console would be nice okay okay it got changed this is how our editor looks like what i did i created a folder on the desktop in that folder i created a file with name first and extension dot java so let us begin our programming uh, you know the first section is documentation why it is used to write the headings let me write one comment here this is my first java program fine this is the documentation section next comes the package i don't need that's why i won't write document package statement and then comes import yeah import java is main package language is sub package i need all classes of this package that's why the wild card character star what does it mean by writing this statement i am importing all classes and interfaces present in language package why we need i will prove it now okay fine import java.lng.star if you want interface you can define in this program i don't need i will leave it and then comes class definition uh, in this program i need only one class that's why i won't define any extra classes leave it and then comes the essential part main method class i just told you the file name and class which includes main must have the same name that's why class is a keyword let the class name be first 
okay in this class let us define our main method how to do that it must be public to make it accessible outside of the class it has to be static to make it accessible without object it has no return type that's why void name of the function is main and it is having one command line argument or parameter which is of type string that's why string make sure while writing the class name string the first letter must be of uppercase java is case sensitive so string args okay and then define body of the main okay now to display statement what is the procedure we have to write system system s must be uppercase because system is a predefined class out out is static data member of system class that's why out and out is having my function called print that is print so this is the standard output statement what you have to display that should be written within double quotes i will write welcome to sorry w, welcome to java so this is my simple java program this is documentation this is import statement this is class definition and this is my main method here the two classes that is system and string so we can change the color of predefined class let me show you go to configure options here mm, java colors if you change the keyword to color it will be applied to predefined classes let me choose red apply yes so string is a predefined class and system is a predefined class and these two classes are present in the package language so this is the story okay let me compile the code use this down arrow link it compiles and if there is any error it displays here uh, we got the message process completed when you get the process completed it means everything is fine no issues now run the code this is the button execute f1 yes we got the output welcome to java and immediately we have a message press any key to continue this is displayed by the ide let me display that statement below the first line how can we do that print ln if you write print ln what does it mean after displaying this statement include a new line okay so whenever you make a changes you need to compile once again compile and execute yes welcome to java hope you can see and next to it we have press any key to continue so this is how we can simply uh, write a java program and this is how we can execute it you try to install jdk followed by jcreator you need not to be use only jcreator uh, whichever you feel comfortable you use try to execute this program and in the next video i will explain data types and many more things practice these things in the next video i will come with new concepts thank you very much for watching this video have a nice day